I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. Well, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Game of Thrones Mile. We are back in our Jon Snow improved uh, playthrough. We are coming out of the war for the north. We are now Lord Paramount of the north. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm kind of up in the air with, um, I do want to at least make the north independent. Um, I kind of, like, I want to claim the Iron Throne, at least to see, like, maybe if something comes of it. There might be, um, because John has pretty good steward, I mean, not stewardship, uh, diplomacy, uh, and then his wife, uh, Val has pretty good too, so we get half hers on top of ours, so we have pretty good diplomacy, so for the most part, if, um, Tommen starts to really, uh, you know, shit the bed here as a king, uh, he's only 11 years old, so I could see maybe some people putting, uh, a faction for us to become king, kind of like in the show where they do, like, you know, John doesn't really want it, but, you know, John kind of gets forced into the position, uh, and then this one would be a lot better than season eight, <laughs> and maybe actually, you know, go through with it, but, um, we at least want to make the North independent from the rest of the Seven Kingdoms. Um, I think we should just claim the throne just to have it there, so that way we have the claim, and then it'll add a little more flavor to it, maybe other people will join me, start faction. I looked around a little bit before I did this, and right now the, uh, Iron Islands are in, uh, a war with the Reach, as they always are in the Feast of Crows timeline, and the Reach is actually winning, almost every time I've ever seen this, uh, Euron Greyjoy just runs through the Reach. Now, I guess he didn't send Victarion to get the dragon, or he got himself. Or Victarion was a good brother and just brought it back to him. It says he was die. He died after blowing on the dragon horn owned by Iron King Euron. So I guess he got him to blow the dragon horn. Um, I don't know if there's anybody else that died from that. There's no way we can really tell. I think. Um, yeah. So he ended up getting Rhaegal after Rhaegal burnt. Uh, Quentin Greyjoy, I mean, uh, Quentin Martell. So, he does have the dragon. It, it, be, you know, the dragon's only three years old, so he isn't really doing much. He is Roth, so that kind of helps to the, uh, you know, personal combat ability. But, yeah, he's a dragon rider right now. Uh, Danny has a Drogon, who's a little bit more powerful, but still at the same age. So, Euron, I don't know why, he's, he's in hiding, for one. And, um, he does have a couple little bastard kids here. Except for this one, he legitimized. So, I guess he's going to be the heir. It says he's the heir to Kingdom of the Iron Islands. But they do do their little uh, king's moot. So, yeah. Nothing really going on it other than what Dorbley does. Now, the Westerlings... I mean, Westerlings. The Westerlands are helping uh, in the war against Aegon. It's at, like, 92%. So, it's done. Um, there is... She did naturally the Mary... Um, Martin Lannister. I guess he's one of the Lannisport Lannisters. So, she saw the opportunity to get some kids going. So, we'll see what happens. She, it says she has a wine cellar. I like that. <laughs> um, I did give the Royces. I don't know why in a lot of these uh, timelines, the Royces do not have Lamentation. They're Valerian Steel Sword. So, I, every time they don't have it, I give it to them. Because it, it's their sword. They should have it. <laughs> um, I don't know why. It's sometimes it's not there. Sometimes it is. Whatever. So, right now we need to pick our council, um, since we're now Lord Paramount. Uh, we don't, I'm probably just gonna, yeah, Brandon Mullen looks good. We'll have him as the Castellan. I think we're just gonna have my wife as just here, because she has pretty good diplomacy. Um, we will we'll put Howland Reed as our master of arms. I'm trying to become close to Howland Reed, maybe, uh, become friends, since he's, uh, come to us with the, uh, knowledge of who we really are. Um, even though we couldn't take it at first, I'm pretty sure John... Uh, found out like that Holland Reed is a pretty trustworthy person so why would he be lying about it um, and, and of course he was the only person alive that was there at the Tower of Joy um, so let's see we need to get somebody uh, intrigue wise we can use women as a uh, spy master and we get her uh, yeah it's another thing I'm gonna get these muds that are this mud is with the Golden Company he will come to our court I could use him as a spy master. If we get any extra land, I'm going to give it to him. Or to the other mud, whatever. Just because uh, I want them to be able to to keep their family going. There's only two of them left. Will he come? Yeah, alright, good. 
Yeah, so we'll get them maybe some land if we come across. Uh, let's find a priest. This guy will do as he sells. Yeah, all right, good. So he will be our priest. And that's about it. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I want to give this guy high lordship for taking care of our um our little uh, so-called brother slash cousin Rickon. Osha is still over here. I don't think she'll come to our court because we're a wrong faith. Yeah. So I guess she would do good up here. She did her job. She is friends with Rickon still, so maybe something will come of that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the High Lordship of Skago. It's also, it's a lot easier dealing with one beyond the wall old gods, Skago C, than three. <laughs> so I'll just give that to him. There you go. There's your prize for taking care of our relative. I'm thinking about raising, uh, because we can't, oh, we could break off somebody. I'm thinking about maybe taking these 720 troops and walking up to here. Because that's where it says uh, Bran is. And I wonder if we go to where Bran is, will we be able to find him? So we're going to try this out. I've never done this with Bran. I know with Arya, anytime I've gone to Siege Down uh, Hall while Tywin has it and she's there, you end up finding her. So let's see, we're going to do that with those men. The 720 shouldn't get any attrition because everything above the wall is at least a thousand. We might get some out of supply range shit, but whatever. There are events spawn troops. Um, I don't have any troops of my own to raise. I guess I could raise the vassal troops here. You know what? We're going to do that. Let me put these guys back. Because I don't want to waste these guys if they go up there and start losing, uh, getting some attrition to it. We still need to deal with Roos. So, we don't have the, uh... Hold on, what? I thought we didn't have enough piety. Hold on. Hey, so we didn't have enough piety last time. I don't know what happened, man. Oh, because we just gave him the duchy. Okay. Yeah, we were like, uh... I think like 80. Well, I think that's what it was. We were uh, 173 and we needed 200. So that makes sense because we just got 200 from doing that. I didn't even think about doing that to get the prestige. So now we can... uh. We can uh, revoke this, which we're going to do. Now, the other ones are going to end up going to his uh, son, Osric. But at least we can get the High Lordship to somebody else. So we are going to go ahead and take that. Um, we can't take anything else from him, which kind of sucks. I'm probably going to... You know what? I might send him to the wall. Because they do need people. I don't know. He might... He really wasn't the... You know what? No, he should die. He killed Rob. There's no other thing we can do but kill him. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Mom, you will be beheaded. It's the old way. Alright, so we didn't get stressed, which is good. So now, um, who the hell is Hothor? Uh, Ramsey had a kid. So why didn't he go to Osric? <laughs> oh, yeah, alright, the, the succession would have went to Ramsey, so it's his kid. He has a dynastic stain the whole family. He's club-footed and ugly. <laughs> Good. Alright, so this one now is Jane Poole. She won't come to court, of course. <laughs> so everything got straightened out there. So let's go ahead and, and then we'll raise these guys here. That's a little bit better. That way I don't really worry about it. Um, I guess we'll bring a couple troops with us, just to make sure. Um, and then we're going to send those guys up the Shivering Forest while we're doing everything else. Uh, Bowser Slot. We'll put Roderick Riswell there. Um, let's see. You're going to receive Realm. You'll stay what you're doing right now. Now, let's go ahead and um, we're going to become Guardian of Rickon now. We can do it because we are the Lord Paramount. So we will go ahead and be Rickon's Guardian. Um, they'll say yeah or whatever. And then hopefully, I don't know how it's going to work out because it, it, even though it says he's going to be in our court because we're his Guardian, he's really in White Harbor. So I don't know if training the children will actually work, but we'll just do it anyways just to see. Alright, we can go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead and just claim this now just so we have the claim. So maybe some uh, factions will start up. Uh, to all the good lords and ladies, I hereby proclaim myself to be the true born son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. My true identity having been kept a secret by my uncle Eddard Stark all these years. Hence, as one true heir of House Targaryen, I claim the Iron Throne as my birthright sign. 
John of House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the uh, why does it say King of the Andals, the first man, Lord of the Seven Kings, protector of the realm? See, it doesn't say like the Ronar and all that. <laughs> it's weird. All right, let's see. It doesn't make us John Targaryen. Let me unpause and see. No, we're still John Stark because we're legitimized. I wonder if we weren't. The, but there's no other way. You had to be legitimized to take that event. All right, so we got John the Young Mud. <laughs> uh, gladly accept. Okay. Now, can I force train him? No. He's of age, isn't he? No, he's only seven. Alright. Uh, this honorable Torgan Flint has failed to answer my call. What call? Alright, gracious invitation. Uh, I cannot join. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Aw. Oh. This guy, he's not zealous. So sometimes if they're not zealous, they won't, won't come to court. I mean, they won't be able to be made priest. This guy is, so I have to pay for him. Is there anybody else in this case? I don't know if we could do a check. She ain't zealous anyways. She's not either. Uh, I really don't want to pay for anybody. He's zealous. So let's keep, well, we'll know he's there. All right, you're a dick. In good tradition, we have some gossip around pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. As a pal's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. So we'll give her some uh, maids. Cost us 10 gold, but it's worth the health. Alright, then we got Lorimus Mud. Gonna, I guess we'll make him Spy Master. He's uh, loyal too, so that's good. We have to wait. I guess that guy would do if we need it, but I'd rather somebody better. Uh, it is so cold here, but I can't imagine what my peasants are enduring out here. Thing gets peasants dying. Yeah, I don't really care about the whole thin thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, you are Barthagon. Can I make you a priest, please? No. Yeah, I think it to be zealous, yeah. Let's just go ahead and, um, how much money are we making? We literally make no money. The only thing that's generating money is thin. Um, I guess, oh my god, this guy's terrible. I guess we'll use him. Let me see something. That guy is... Under She's not zealous, so we can't use her anyways. If they're a priest in the whole land, you can, but, uh... Any, if you just want like a regular person, they have to be uh, zealous, which kind of sucks. All right, whatever. Priests really don't do anything, old guy wise. I mean, there's nothing to really proselytize. I'm mean, the rightful ruler of seven kingdoms, and King's Landing is an integral part of that title. It should be mine. So now we have claims on that too. I think they're all strong claims. Yeah, Iron Throne, King's Land. This will not be inherited though, but the. Uh, Strong claim the Iron Throne should be. Alright, what are you doing? Uh, I think that's why they said that. He's helping the... Uh, he's helping the crown. Idiot. Alright, yeah, they make him count. So you're gonna be a priest. Well, have you, uh... Is there anything to proselytize? No. I guess up here we could. What is the, uh... Yeah, the outcome is terrible. <laughs> You'll never proselytize anything. Alright, let's have you uh, perform charity at Winterfell. Alright. Hopefully these guys don't take three years to get up there. But they're already getting vassal. I can actually uh, disband them up in then, so that's good. What the hell was that? I just seen something else. Somebody's depressed. It was a long, hard night, and in the end it seems it was for nothing. Little Aragon. Oh, I had twins! The son is alive, but he's sickly. Yikes. Well, hopefully the, uh... I'm not gonna name him Harwin. Um, let's see, uh... I'm not gonna <laughs> name it the Father John. His grandfather's name is Jarl? Oh, uh, yeah, because he's part walling. It won't change it, though. Alright, random ancestor. Benjamin, Brandon... Trying to think of, well, we could probably get, name him after our brother who's killed. Where the hell's he at? Rob. We'll name him Rob. Mm, little Rob. There we go. Alright, you have a new heir. 
had the ambition to get my son. Alright, so what we do now? What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, she died. <laughs> Maester Umer. Now, this guy sucks. He's probably gonna kill him. Is worried about my newborn son. Rob is a feeble little thing, even compared to other infants. Umer says he might not live to see his first birthday. You have to save my son, or I will behead you. Alright, so what's our new ambition? Should be. Oh, our wife is depressed, I think. Oh, she's sick. Oh, she dies. This is gonna be bad. Unsuccessful. Of course it was. He fucking sucks. Alright. What are we gonna do now? Um. I guess. I have a girl. <laughs> Alright, what's this for? Alright, we can have a melee. Legalized parentage. So, what do we have to do to do that? I see that the title rank is Emperor. Or all the following must be true, or independent ruler, or primary de facto empire is less than one. Any spouse. Of the, what? Any spouse, Lord Paramount John of the North, holds the title of the Arthur. Ah, oh, okay. So we go, uh. We go independent and still do it. Let me make sure Brand's still up here before we go all the way up here. Shivering Forest, alright. See, I don't know, though, because the, uh, White Walkers, like, really aren't here yet, so... Uh, the wars between the Great Pirates of Rome subsided, so he beat Aegon. Does he have him in jail? Should be in his court if he has not locked up. I guess not. Uh, we can look him up. He's Aegon of Essos. Let me redo everything. Hey, he's probably, like, the only Aegon. There he is. Yeah, he's locked up. King Tommen the Golden. Why did he get that nickname? <laughs> That's great. Alright, whatever, man. Alright, the peasants have written up, risen up and moved Kaelin. So, it's against... It's showing Tommen, but... Yeah. She'll let Tommen deal with it then. But yeah, he's gonna tear up Moot Kaelin. I guess we should, uh, deal with it. Um, all we have is vassal troops. We don't have any troops of our own. Sad. Uh, let's just raise them, and then we'll get, a uh, White Harbor alone of us has enough. Oh, uh, let's just get these guys that are, like, right here. Except our event spawn troops. And, uh, I'll just go meet a White Knife. Probably just deal with them with those guys. Peasants are terrible. He wants us to be our High Admiral. <laughs> um, I don't... I'm trying to think if I... If I'm his High Admiral... I don't know if I could go to war against him. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know if I can go to war against him if I do. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. We'll decline. Alright, uh, Master Rumor has completely botched the treatment of my wife's bat. This guy sucks. Hmm. I think I should, uh, imprison him. Then I'll get a new Maester. <laughs> It's terrible. Alright, uh, send for a new maze to 20 gold. God damn. I thought it was like 8. Oh, uh, we needed some commanders. I forgot. We got all these, uh, positions we could fill. Roger Forrester, definitely. Um, Edwal Knot is pretty good. And we can take some of these, uh, terrible wildlings out of here. Um, Hagen Magnar is pretty good. We will also put Mage. And then Big Bucket Wall. That's all we need, right? Yeah. And then we'll put... We need a cupbearer. Somebody that really likes us. Um... I guess while we're a priest, do it. We have to wait for our maester to come. Gilly. We still have Gilly. She follows the cold gods. That's great. Uh... Harrion. I'm not giving him shit. Since he fought against our house. I wish we could, uh... Freaking imprison him. I don't know why he wasn't, uh, I don't know, I don't know why he wasn't, uh, able to be locked up. He, he fought against us, too. Alright, we're just waiting for our maester. Let's put back the north. I hate that gray color. Let his ass rot. He's supposed to be a maester. Alright, we got Maester Theo, who isn't any better. Jesus Christ. Can't win, man. Are we up there yet? No, we're getting there. See, we're getting attrition from being, uh... 
The Wildlings, a thing claimed Lord Paramount John is not fit to be a ruler, and they have rallied behind Soren up then in attempt to drive him from the land. So, what is there, men here? 72 men. Oh, at least we're going this way. We can just take them out. Alright, conditions. Are, we're getting really bad winter right now. I hope we, we find fucking Bran. We're going up. I mean, it's great that we were going up there now because we can uh, take care of the problem. Uh, we'll let. um. Let's see. We'll let Roderick lead, and then Edwal and Hagen. Should we wait for the other? Actually, we'll just go this way. You guys stop, and then we'll combine with them and go down there. They actually have some boots. Oh my God! Val died. Our son's still hanging in there. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Um, should we make him struggle? Yeah, we'll go to struggle. It's hard in the north. He has to struggle. Alright, um, hopefully Rob lives. We do need a new wife now. So, I don't know who we should marry. Let me see something. Did, uh, wonder if Danny already got a husband. Because <laughs> that'll actually make us. I didn't want to do it. But, she won't do it anyways. Now we're in matrilineal. Yeah, she has to be on the Iron Throne, I think, for that thing to work. Let me see. Yeah, I don't need his help. Um, let me see what it says. Uh, any spouse of it holds the title. Yeah, you have to have the Iron Throne. That sucks. She's not going for the throne. Sometimes she goes right for it. Sometimes she doesn't. If we were Targaryen, she'd do it. But, yeah. So we need to find somebody else. Um, yeah, we'll do a small private one. Nobody in the north knew her anyways. So now we need a new, uh, justice here. Hopefully we have one capable. Um, is there any good people even around? We're definitely gonna marry a, uh, old god. If we have a old god to choose from. We could marry Gilly. <laughs> How old is she? Where is she at? There she is. She's only 23. I mean, it kind of sucks, but what else? What other choice do we have? Nobody really good here. The one old god, uh, black, whatever the hell, uh, what the hell are they called? I can't even think. What the hell are they called? Blackwoods. <laughs> the one Blackwood girl is only ten. Yeah. I guess if we can betroth ourselves to her, and they have a Arya Manderly who is a bastard, but she's one year old. <laughs> there's really not much to choose from here. I mean, there's some uh, Faith of the Seven. They do have Gilly there. Um, let me see. There's no uh, Umbers or anything. What the hell? There's literally nobody. There's a bunch of friggin' uh, cat Craster's uh, old wives. Moreno Hornwood's 42 years old. There literally isn't any old god. Sometimes when you do this, though, it doesn't show you all of them. If you go through the finder over here, you get a lot more choices. It's weird. I don't know why it doesn't show you. Uh, Rizwell, of course, she's zero years old. There literally is nobody for him to marry. I guess we can just stay single for a while. We might not have any choice but to marry uh, friggin' Danny. Especially if we go uh, independent. We'll just keep ourselves single for the time being. Let's, uh, find... I'm not just gonna settle for anybody. Wow, he's pretty good. Random lock. Alright. Is our guys up here yet? Thermos here. Alright, Magnor Sighorn has told me of a letter containing fabricated evidence of a plot to have him arrested and banished. The letter was sent by Lord Skinner, <laughs> who is on that... Uh, this is, uh, one of... Uh, Ramsey's boys. I don't know how he got. So somehow he inherited Hornwood, even though there actually are Hornwoods with the claims of this. Can, oh man, can I? Loyalty of Magister, I'm not going unrewarded. So can I imprison him now? Yes. He'll probably revolt. But that's fine. I can take him out, and then we can give this to Lawrence uh, Snow, who is one of the. Uh, the hell is he? He's one of the bastards of Hornwood. We can't, uh, we can't legitimize him. 
but we can at least give him more. The other one's 42. She's in a regular marriage. Tall heart. That's why he has a claim to it. Yeah, that's a good thing we can do. We can do that right now. Alright, um. Is a traitor. Oh, we can just take it. Okay, we'll just do that. I mean, we're gonna lose prestige from it, but what the hell. Give me your damn land, asshole. Alright, take your ass on somewhere. He's up in Brandon's gift. Alright, so we can give this now to, um. Hold on, let me see something. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna keep it for a minute. It's the only thing giving us money. When does uh the thing go off for Winterfell? Uh, 04. So we'll just wait a year. Especially because he's only 15 anyways. We'll wait until he's uh, 16. And then we will give it to Lawrence. We can't have Lawrence come to court. We'll see if he'll come to court when he's 16. He has uh, got six more months. He Let's see if we can get him a better, um, what you call it. Hmm. Let Larmus do it. Because he's got intrigue focus. Even though he should have had martial focus. Alright. We'll see what happens. Alright. Let's bring these guys up now. Take them out. What do you want, man? No, I'm not going to be your commander. I'm about to take you out. Alright, so that didn't work. <laughs> so let's just go uh, deal with those 70 men. It's turning colder and colder if people horn working in the the fields. We're going through a very bad winter right now. He's over with the Glovers right now, so... These guys are done. My lord, we have heard reports from the twins that your bearman, Lord John Umber, is suffering greatly in the captivity of Lord Walter Frey. Apparently, the unfortunate Lord John is being routinely tortured by his captors. Oh my god. Can we... We can't ransom him. How good is the plot? The rescue me. It said 18%, so it probably isn't anybody good. Uh, we got 11 there. We're going to have to pay for it. 11 on 12. 18. 10. We have enough to go over 100, but the thing is, we have to pay for all these. We don't have the money. So, I'm sorry, John. I guess we can keep it up. Maybe somebody will join. <laughs> Alright. Um... I definitely want to, I want to go independent, but the thing is, I want to, um, I want to get back the swords, too. There we go, it happened. Nice. See, I told you, if you go to where they're at, you'll find them. I'm thinking about getting on a boat and going over to find Arya, too, to get our family back. So now we got Bran Stark alive in our care. Oh, we got Hodor, too. All right. I forgot he, he was with him. All right, good job. Alright, so we go take care of these guys. Now, let me make sure. Is Arya still over in Bravos? Yes. That's right. She's right here. She moved. I don't know why she moved over there. <laughs> I don't know if she'll come back with us, though, because of the fact that she's, like, training to be a uh, faceless man or whatever. Alright, we'll go like this. We're going to get rid of all those guys. We are going to get rid of these guys um let me see you like me a lot so we're gonna use your men and then we're going to do you have enough boats to even take these men yes you do alright we're gonna put them on a boat up first let's put you back we're gonna take these guys out so then John can be with these guys and go find Arya my lord despite you being a rifle ruler King Tommen has chosen not to name you warden of the region well, go fuck yourself, then. <laughs> you want me on your council, but you don't want me to... Who, who do you put as Lord Paramount of the North? I mean, Guardian, or whatever the hell is called. Warden. Probably gave it to his mom or something. Hmm. I don't see anybody as a Warden. Uh, yeah, I don't see anybody. Unless he gave it to somebody of lower rank. Yeah, I don't know what he did. There's, their war's still going... Looks like the Reach is going to win it. They're just like sieging down all the Iron Ons. I don't know why. Uh, what's his name's doing? Under my guidance, my young half brother Rick on a slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. We cannot force train him though, which kind of sucks. He's a poor fighter now. He's a little young, so I think we might be alright. Alright, so we can drop these guys. That war's done. 
Um, I'm thinking we'll just leave him. I hate having to pay to send people to the watch. You're just going to stay in jail for a little bit. Alright, um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put John on there when we get close because I don't want him to get scurvy. We'll go down to here. We have to keep making sure, though, she is where she's supposed to be. I think because she's being trained by this person, Koro, and he's right there. Hopefully, she comes home. World's a dangerous place to use pottery. Rumors have reached you. People are conspiring to kill you. Who is trying to kill Jon Snow? Or Jon Stark now? We are legitimized. <laughs> Uh, let's see. High Septus declare an anathema upon your acquaintance or paramount Peter Baelish. Sucks for him. Uh, has Santa had any... Oh, she's actually had a kid. Harry, Harry's got two bastards. This one's sickly, though. She might not live. Now, I think my son actually will get the bloodline. Oh, no, he doesn't. Even though he's a full-blown Stark. Aha! He laughs... <laughs> He <laughs> laughs, last la longest, whatever. Last, 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 longest. Finally, a rapacious fat pig, <laughs> Sir Jonas, has left this fine earth. While everything will be definitely better without him, I have a lot of extra time on my hands. Uh, he's taking up a lot of my time, let's just say. Get the hell up out of here. He died of poor health, fat pig. Alright, where's our boat at? It's getting here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put, um... John, we'll put a couple other people with us just to make sure we don't get jumped by some bandits or something. Uh, sometime I've been to employ Lord Hothar. Who? Oh, uh, drive for a kid. Um, no, I'm not paying 40 gold for you. How about you just come to court? No. Oh, sorry, buddy. Alright. Let's get our men and get off here. My spy master will warp his mud and express his argument. Oh shit, I forgot about getting you guys married. Um, not much to choose from there. You might get you a beyond the wall. We'll get you one of, uh, Craster's wives. <laughs> I need to give you some that's of, a uh, childbearing age. I guess you, well... How about, uh, this wilding woman? She likes John. I don't know if she'll like you. All the cold guy ones are, like really negative. I guess everybody's pretty much negative. There's Aaron of Goldtown, but she's a little old. We'll give him, uh, who's that one? Here we go, this long girl. She's of childbearing age. Uh, finding someone nice. Now, where's your, uh, sibling? Let's give him somebody. Can we find us another old god? Too old. Uh, too young. Probably gonna have to give you a faith at a seven or, or a wildling. Not really much to choose from here. Let's go back up. Where is that one at? You know what? That'll do you. There you go. Alright. Let's see if we can find Arya. See if we can get lucky twice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Lord Paramount John, a great melee of northern tradition, would be held in Crow's Edge. I urge you to come and take part and prove your prowess. Sure. We'll just sit here for a minute see if we find her. I guess if we move around, maybe? I don't know. We'll just sit here. Maybe she doesn't want to be found? It'd be great if she does come, but it's not guaranteed. Alright, the early stages of the melee were chaotic and frenzy and had left village trampled and villages half torn down. Many have been forced to leave the battle, either by injury or defeat. Many of your hand, now you stand among the remaining warriors to begin the final melee. Alright. This guy kind of sucks, but who knows? We might lose. Um, I guess we'll attack with speed. It's all over now. Get back on your feet. Victory's mine. <laughs> Trying to find Arya. All right, we got Rickard. Little, little. <laughs> he's actually pretty good, so we definitely gotta go with speed because he's got strong. Oh, we beat him. I figured he was probably going to get us, but we're at 100, uh, 105. That sucks about. Here we go. Yes, I told you. You go where they're at, you will find them. Now, we bring little Arya home. So that's the last one we have to find now. Sansa's already, you know, doing her thing. So, oh, she's got the flu. 
good lord. Alright, so now we can come home. Lord Paramount, John, I've learned that you're certain factions within the realm working to undermine my rule. If you were involved in planning to become so, I trust that your complicity in these matters ends now. Go fuck yourself. Let me see, uh... Is anybody... Nobody's got factions. So much... Oh, Lord Harrion is trying to put himself for the north. He's probably the one trying to kill me. They want Lord Rickon for the north. I guess it's understandable. And then Lord Hothark. That's their freaking vassal. Oh, I forgot to give away that. I should probably give it to Overton. He's the only one. <laughs> There's him, White Hill, or the Bolton. Really, much to choose from. Um, let me see. If I say no, your refuse is outrageous to me. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you and Benjakot Door. He doesn't have much personal combat skill. Hey, let's get these guys, huh? Uh, after a long time of training, both day and night, you have finally mastered art of combat. Few could contend with your extensive knowledge of battle techniques. We're definitely going to take duelists. I don't know why people think duelists is this bad trait. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're a decent fighter like he is, you're not going to die from anything. He's like, oh, I'm not taking duelists because it's, it's a bad trait. I've never had a problem with it, ever. Uh, you get a negative sometimes of people saying your exploits are too dangerous, but that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep going with speed. It's been working for us. Back on your feet. Victory's mine. Alright, let's get back on our boat. Get home with little Arya. She has the flu. <laughs> Glory to me. So we won the melee. We got 10 gold and a little bit of prestige. 50 prestige. It is a good way to build prestige, though. There's melees. Because every time you win, you get 50, so... And then you get the 25 for winning. Nice! So he's, he's slowly becoming a good fighter. Now he's a trained fighter. What does Robert Aaron want? He wants to marry our sister. I don't think my sister wants this. <laughs> oh, she became friends with us. When was that? I guess we were already friends. I think, yeah, I think that's the thing. If you find her, uh, she stays your friend. And then she has Gendry here. Will Gendry come to court? Higher tier. What? It says Gendry of the Bull of Hollow Hill. <laughs> it doesn't have uh, Robert as his dad, though. That's weird. I guess he doesn't know, so. <laughs> well, we got our sister back. She is. Fi oh, shit. She's 15. Stewardship? I hate the AI, man. Um, Let's try to find her a good guardian. Um, he's probably the best if she's going stewardship-wise. Yeah, we'll, we'll put Brandon Mullen. Alright, she does have, uh, <laughs> what you call it, uh, many face god. No, I don't think she'll want that. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, we got our, our whole family back. Except for Sansa, of course, because she's married to, uh, Harold Aaron. So, like I said, if you go to these places where they're at, they're easy to define, uh, you just go where they're at and you'll find them. So, till next time, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.